I've been a nurse for 17 years. Um, and I've been in various roles, bedside, educator, leader. Um, and this is probably the most stress I've felt in my 17 years of nursing. In the break room, there was a sign that said, um, tough times don't last, tough teams do. And that kind of became our, our mantra, our motto. And they worked through a lot of fear and uncertainty. And I think they were really brave. Um, and I don't want them to have to do it again, but I know they will. The community was phenomenal. Um, their response was amazing, uh, very supportive. They immediately donated any PPE they had. Um, they made masks. Uh, they even made like little gadgets to put behind your head so that the masks wouldn't be on your ears and, and hurting your ears. But I think the best thing that the community did for us was, um, you know, making sure that they socially isolated and did hand hygiene and wore their masks and they did all the right things. And because of that, we never hit the high COVID surge that we saw in our neighboring states um, and areas around the country. So the community did that and we're really thankful for that. Our organization as a whole came together and did amazing work to create policies and things that we can replicate and, and use again for a surge. Um, what stresses me out is a lot of the feelings and the fear that will come back from my team and being able to keep them safe once again. I know that we're going to have a flu season. It's going to be big. It usually is. We're going to be full. Um, and really the COVID surge depends on a lot of, um, a lot of people outside of our control. You have a lot of people out there getting bored with the idea of socialization and masking. And, and I feel like we could have a huge impact if the community doesn't stay on board with this. I can't imagine, you know, the stress and fear level should that actually happen. There's no way to really wrap your head around it until you're in it. And that's just scary in its own.